what does it mean to be a man and build a country right now? And what's your take on that? Well, it's, to me, it's not even about me at this point. It's about the men that get up and go to work every day. Like, look out there, bro. Look at all those buildings. There's cranes in the air. There's concrete trucks going down the road. All the things that make society work. So I came across this clip on a podcast. And this podcast is Ultimate Guide to Becoming a High-Level Man, Justin Waller and Axel Axe. Now, I'll have this full podcast in the link in the description down below. But I came across this certain little five-minute segment inside this podcast that really drew my attention because I don't know who these guys are and what roles they have in life and what they do and things like that. But the way this Justin guy talks about just the construction world and the blue collar world really drew my attention and it really piqued my interest. And I want to share this clip with you guys because I thought it was super interesting. Let's hop into it and watch what they have to say. Now, you always talk about something that to me is very interesting, and it's this concept of appreciating the men that are actually outdoors, building shit. Mm -hmm. They're not doing a, a crypto pump. Yep. They're not building an online uh, store. Touch on that, because I think we have, at least for me as a young guy living in, in the US, I didn't grow up here, but I came here mm -hmm. about 10 years ago. And now everything that I see on social media is, 21 year old kids driving G wagons yeah. and they're telling you about their Amazon store. But you have a complete different take on that, that I don't think anyone else, I haven't seen anyone else talk about that. What does it mean? Yeah, that is very true. What this, what he said about that, about 21 year olds driving G wagons and it's, it's all a scam. Anything you see, I can't believe anything I see online anymore for the most part. I just don't believe it. 21 year old driving G wagons and Lamborghinis around. I just, I just don't, I don't believe it. What does it mean to be a man and build a country right now? And what's your take on that? Well, it's to me, it's not even about me at this point. It's about the men that get up and go to work every day. Like look out there, bro. Look at all those buildings. There's cranes in the air. There's concrete trucks going down the road. All the things that make society work are generally going to these hardworking people that have to go in the sun every day, that have to create a hell of a skill. You know, being able to erect a metal building, for example, it's a very dangerous trade. You make one mistake and the whole building could fail inspection or the roof could leak. Or if, if the slab is poured and, and, and they don't meet the formula for the concrete, then they could fail a slump test or they could pour it and this concrete could crack and somebody could die, could cave in. There's so many things, the electrical, everything about this world that makes our life what it is, is generally built by very hardworking men and women, but mostly men in the sun building society, man. And I just... I think that there's a true inequity in the world around how construction workers get paid and how truck drivers get paid and like just across the board, the people that make this world go. Yeah, you think about that, like I think truck drivers and construction workers and blue collar people should get paid more. To be honest, they get paid petty wages, but there's not a whole lot you can do about that. And um, I wish... I wish there was something that could be done to fix it. Uh, I often say that, and I would never run for president. I'm just using this as an example. But if I ran for president, I'd make certified payroll a deal tomorrow and make sure everybody in the country was getting paid correctly. You know, and I, and I wanted, I would want it to be in line with the actual, actually how valuable it is to the world. Because I always talk about like, there's a girl on Instagram that can shake her ass and make more money than the guy that laid the road for us to get here. Facts. And I have nothing against the girl shaking her ass. And I don't have anything against the OnlyFans girls. I just simply have a heart for the men to build this country and that build anything anywhere because everybody else gets to, gets to live this really plush life because of these people that get up every morning before daylight, work all day in the sun and go home and don't even get appreciation for it so i just i just want to salute those guys every chance i get i've been there and i've done it but more importantly i have guys that work for me that do it and support their families doing it and i just simply understand how hard it is to get something built and in, in in a place where you can actually get entry into a building
you know, yeah. get occupancy. And uh, I don't think the average person understands that and appreciates the guys wearing hard hats in, in this country. So um, I'll never come off of that. In fact, I was been planning to do this, but I want to start a campaign. Every time somebody sees a guy in work boots or a hard hat and they're in a grocery store or trying to buy their lunch in the middle of the day, I always try my best, if they'll let me, to buy their lunch or their 12 pack of beer on the way out. And I challenge anybody that follows me to start doing that. I, I'm, I'm going to make the campaign called Buy the Man a Beer because I just don't think they're respected and, and treasured enough and they build the fucking world. And uh, without construction workers, man, you know, this, this world just doesn't run. And I just, I can't talk about that enough. So uh, challenged everybody. If you see a guy that you can tell has been working, working hard in any kind of job, either where there's construction, uh, driving a truck, septic tank trash guy any of these guys police officer buy the man a beer or buy his lunch or whatever you can and for god's sakes tag me because i will repost it on my channel i do not care I, I want nothing more than these guys to get the respect they deserve it is a hard hard life out there for these guys building building the society so yeah that's my thoughts sorry for the rant yeah so i thought that was a pretty interesting segment from that podcast just everything he said there about how construction workers or blue collar people, you know, police officers or, you know, the ones building the roads and the buildings and doing everything to build and maintain the things that we rely on every single day, get almost no appreciation. The only appreciation they will get to, you know, they'll get appreciation from their family or friends or loved ones. So thank you for doing what you do. You know, how many trades are really getting appreciation? How many people are thinking they're plumbers, they're electricians, they're HVAC people, uh, the iron workers who are building the high-rise buildings, the asphalt people who are building the road, the concrete people who are building the foundations for the buildings to go on. Every single trade out there has their own segment and they're all important in their own individual way. In my opinion, there's not one trade that's more important than the other. They all have to come together to get something done. I like the way just Justin put his words in, in that segment. It meant a lot to me and for anyone who's watching this video, if you work blue collar, thank you. We appreciate for what you do. Doesn't matter what trade you work in because without you, this world would not be turning. With Blueprint, I'm here to expose, teach, and educate you about blue collar career opportunities and things that'll help you in the skilled trades and just humble little segments like that that show some appreciation because this blue collar stuff, this stuff is important. And without the blue collar folks, this nation would crumble. With that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Ever know.